Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with the Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So hit subscribe if you'd like to join the fun and paint along, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I post a new video. Alright, so this week I'm in a very vampire mood. It's bright and sunny outside. I've been up at night and just thinking about gorgeous nighttime landscapes. So I came up with this really fun whale tail painting um, that's going to be a peaceful nighttime swim of our little whale friend here. I'm going to be using my four standard brushes from my special little kit. So I have the square brush, medium-sized pointed brush, and then two small detail brushes, one small and even smaller. I'm going to get those in the water cup off the side of the screen. This is going to be a really unique painting and then it's monochromatic. So we're just gonna be using black, white, and then a little bit of our ultramarine blue. To see a complete materials list with everything that you need to paint along, check the description box below. I've also pinned it in the comments for you guys. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. So I'm gonna start with, actually I'm gonna grab my medium sized brush for the very first step. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a horizon line and I'm going to do this with light blue. So just blue and white together. And the horizon line, we're gonna go a little bit less than halfway down. So maybe about 40% of the way down. And try to do as straight of a line as I possibly could there. And it turned out pretty well. <laughs> I'm just the right amount of caffeinated today, not shaky. <laughs> gonna grab my big brush now that we have our area so we have our sky up here and our ocean down here so big brush and we're gonna start up in the top here with a really pretty light or excuse me dark blue very dark very pretty night sky color gonna sneak in just a little bit of white and that's like almost black very dark and I'm going to go all across the top of my canvas here, moving my brush all around in different directions. A little bit of water always helps the paint go nice and smooth. All the way across, just like so. Looking good, okay? And bringing that down almost half of the way here in our sky. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush a little bit. And moving right along, I'm going to take a lighter version of that color. So this is going to be sort of like a steely blue right underneath that color. And you wanna sort of blend the two together all the way across starting this gradation here to a lighter blue. Okay, and then we're gonna take a even lighter blue for right along that horizon line. And it's okay if you go over the horizon line a little bit, but you do wanna come all the way down and cover it. Don't wanna see that line anymore. That was just a sketch line. Blending it all together. And if you go too far up with your light blue, you can add a little bit more dark blue or vice versa. This is sort of a play back and forth of light and dark for this gradation. Okay. Bringing the paint into the canvas texture. Okay, looking pretty good. Very nice. And I like to take a little bit of dark further down for the couple deliberate brush strokes, just so things actually look deliberately stylized. I like that look. I don't want perfection. Okay, lovely. I think I'm just gonna use that same gorgeous big brush. Rinse it out though. And this is actually gonna be really similar kind of gradation here in that we're gonna start with a beautiful dark navy blue. A little bit lighter than our sky blue though. 
Okay, noticeably navy. So this is our ocean color. And we're gonna go across that line, trying to create as straight of a line as we can for our horizon. Just all the way across like so. Straight as possible. Nice dark blue color. And then once you go all the way across, we're gonna start bringing it down a little bit. Back and forth, smooth brush strokes all the way off the canvas. Okay, and just like how we did up there, now we started to then walk our way towards a lighter blue. We're gonna do the same thing down here, only with our back and forth brush strokes rather than our textured brush strokes. Back and forth, smooth, long brush strokes to help you blend, looking good. Let's do a little bit of a lighter blue, now working our way towards the bottom. Okay, just like so. First layer of paint, getting all of that white canvas filled in with beautiful color. Okay, looks good. And then our lightest blue at the very bottom. Very simple, monochromatic color scheme today. And these very satisfying. I especially like to work with blue. All right, we got a nice smooth gradation there. Things are looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and let this layer dry and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna add a whole bunch more. So I'll see everyone in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a dry background and I kept the same colors in the piece of palette paper since we're just gonna be using the same three, well, once again, black, blue, and white. I did rinse my brushes and got some fresh water at break as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. So we're gonna also this time work our way again from the top down. I'm gonna grab my second to smallest brush and I'm going to be working with a very dark, gray, so mostly black, little bit of white in there. And I'm going to use this for my lovely mountains. I'm going to start probably about a third of the way over and kind of wiggle my way up and down across the canvas, creating a little line of mountains on one side and then something similar on the other side, but smaller. And then we're just going to go ahead and fill this in with that dark, almost black gray. And you're welcome to use the next biggest size brush if you would prefer to speed things up a little bit. Whatever brush you're more comfortable with is great. Right, sitting right on top of the horizon line. As straight of a line as you can get. All right, and nice clean mountain tops as well. All right, should have a nice little contrast there of the dark gray with the gray blue behind it. Very pretty. Okay. And on the other side as well. Just like so. filled in a nice straight line continuation there maybe we're in a little bay kind of where my imagination's at <laughs> okay looking good 
going to still be working in the sky and I'm going to now add my moon with some white. Just a little bit of white on the tip of the brush there. And a nice little moon. In fact, I'm gonna grab my even smaller brush so that I get a really skinny crescent. Like so, I like that, that looks pretty. And then right underneath, I have a little sparkle here on the water. Just a couple lines there coming down from the top horizontal Cutting through the water there. Beautiful little shine on our ocean or on our bay. And I'm going to take the back side of that teeny tiny brush. I'm going to add a few stars here and there up top. Just however many you feel is the right amount in your heart. Okay, very pretty. And then I'm going to grab my second to smallest brush again. And I'm gonna start working my way down here a little bit. Gonna grab some of that gray blue or gray, dark gray black here from my mountains. I'm going to put a few horizontal brush strokes in there as well. Right underneath where the mountains would be reflecting there in the water. Keeping all of our lines horizontal. Okay, very simple and nice. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the focal point of the painting, which is going to be, of course, our whale tail. We're going to be using gray for this. I think I'm going to use my second to smallest brush I feel really comfortable with this brush, but if you'd like to use your very smallest, that's fine too. Mixing up a medium gray to start with. Okay, and then I want to sort of offset things, so I'm not going to center it, I'm going to put it a little bit off center here. And I'm going to start with the horizontal line of where the whale is coming out of the water. So just a little line like that. And then I'm going to do a little swooped curve line that comes and meets the other side like so. And that one actually needs to be a little bit curved as well. And then from this top point here, I'm gonna do a swoop out one direction and a swoop out the other direction. And then we're going to join it like so. And I think I'm going to go a little bit bigger. There with the tail. Just like so, a little bit longer. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and start filling this in. I'm going to fill this in just with different tones of gray. just basic gray there to start filling it in along the shape of it okay all filled in with that shape it's gonna look a little silly right now and that's okay And then we're just going to add some highlights and shadows. So with a dark black color, I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to do a little shadow along the bottom part. And along the top a little bit. Kind of give it some shape. And kind of soften it so that it radiates into it a little bit. I'm going to grab some lighter color as well and add a few highlights there towards the tip of the tail and then sort of accentuating the curve as well. Okay, and then you can have a nice highlight coming down here 
and some shadow on either side of the tail coming down and like so blending everything slightly okay now we're going to do an important part i forgot to mention in the uh, beginning that i do like to use my trusty old toothbrush for the splattering so you will need one of those as well I've used that in couple videos before so hopefully hopefully you got one lying around and I'm gonna do just a really small little step with this for some great whale splash so I'm grabbing my medium sized brush and I'm taking some white over here and adding some water to it you can use any brush to make that then I'm gonna take my toothbrush and dip it in the white and very strategically I'm gonna splatter right around that tail Maybe one more there. Like so, very delicate little step. And then I'm gonna grab my tiniest brush and add a few big droplets there along with the tail. That's kind of dropping down here like so. And if you covered anything too much, you can go ahead and find it again if you need to. But you want to have a little bit of a balance there to the spray. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. All right, now we have to make it look like our whale's actually coming out of the water. So the way that we're gonna do that is with a couple uh, kind of curved horizontal brush strokes that go around mm -hmm. that whale reaching area here at the bottom so do a couple little curved lines like so right around there and not too many just a few okay that's with a dark blue rinsing my brush coming back in with a light blue very light a little bit of white water the water's disturbance there and coming a little bit further out there with the white. And then we're going to start adding some back and forth brush strokes as well to just sort of accentuate the area here around our water. So I have just really light blue here. I'm going to kind of bring it all through the water and I have a little bit of water in the paint as well so that it goes nice and smooth. We want a little bit of movement and just making it look like this is water that has all kinds of little reflections coming from all over. So just working with water down, a light blue bringing it all the way through. All right, a little bit more paint here. All right, it's looking pretty good. And we're just gonna do highlights all throughout. And then let's do some shadows as well. Gonna take a little bit of gray mix it in with my blue and my white and add a little bit of water there as well so we'll have a nice sort of medium bluish gray shadow color and that's going to add some nice depth into our water as well using a little bit of water on the brush to help me go nice and smooth and if you need to you can always add a little bit of light it right on top of it as well to help it blend if you need like so okay longer brush strokes here in the front and then smaller as we get work our way towards the 
horizon line. Okay, little brush strokes moving up. Can even go a little bit darker back here. All right, you can put any other final touches that you like on your paintings. If you painted along today, I've created a Facebook group called The Arts Club where you can share your work. We would love to see it. There's a link in the description box below to join that. Let me know what you thought of today's painting. If you liked the monochromatic uh, shades of gray and blue, or if you're missing something colorful. Uh, and that's all the instruction that I have for everyone this week. So until next time, stay creative.